video for our introduction, and our introduction is really just how the heck do I get this program up and running? And I'm, I'm pausing whenever I have a lot of load time, so maybe you're not seeing everything you want, but uh, I'm pretty confident that as computer scientists, you know how to install software fairly comfortably, so I feel like we're okay with that. I've never had a problem with students in the past. Uh, and if you feel like you have a problem, you know, just don't panic. Um, this is kind of a monster, this, uh, this software. Um, so if you think that things aren't working, that's kind of normal. Uh, things are working slow, they're breaking until we get things you know, up and running. Um, uh, there's going to be some frustration. Okay, so this screen is left off exactly where I was at in the last video. I'm going to stop the app. I am going to, um, I can go ahead and hide my device. I'm going to go File, New, New Project, and this screen is going to look different, I believe, I uh, may have to check the video, uh, than it did even last time. Yeah, pretty sure, because last time I selected what was in the center middle, and it was empty views activity. That empty views activity is now over to the right, and the picture may even be different too. So I'm going to click empty views activity. So this is just, you know, how do I even start and make it look like the code that we're working with in the book or in class? And it's changed from uh, being located here to located there to located there. Uh, and the name may have changed, but empty views activity currently. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And this will be test app two. Um, perfectly fine. Everything else looks the same as it did before. I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. Um, let's see. So it's got some work to do. I'm going to pause and let that do its work. All right, it says done. Took maybe a minute, minute and a half. I don't know, I wasn't tracking. I'm going to hit finish. Um, now, yesterday when I did this on my desktop and maybe even on my laptop, things looked really different than they do today. Um, this turned orange. Oh, there we go, just like here. Um, this does go away after a while, uh, but I have never seen that in any of the other versions. I have an idea of what's going on here, but I had to verify it a little bit later. Uh, let's see. I want to pause it. All right, there wasn't any reason to pause it. I just maximized the window. Um, whenever I create a new project, it will sometimes give me the choice, maybe it doesn't anymore, to open up a new window or use this window. Uh, you can see at the bottom, I've got my old one I called test project one. Here I call this test app two. Didn't quite think it through, not a big deal. There's stuff that needs to lead it anyway. Um, and they're both running. Um, now, in the past, that has caused me problems where I would, um, I would run a program that has an error in it, and instead it would run the one that didn't have an error in it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this last version, test project. I could have X that out on that little thumbnail, or I could do it here. Okay, so um, still, uh, that's a little bit strange to me. It might take some time for it to go away. I'm going to pause, see if it does. All right, it hasn't yet, but here's something I want to show you. So I hit um, the activity uh, underscore main.xml. It says the, the Gradle uh, sync is in progress, and notice that um, that button is grayed out. So it won't let me hit the sync button while it's syncing. So my guess is once the sync is done, then this window that's right here is going to look closer to what I'm used to and what we saw in the last video. It's taking some time. It's getting closer. Um, I've got this message. The sync is taking a long time. I'm going to play around with the notification I got to turn off Window Defender. Hopefully that speeds that up quite a bit. Uh, but this has uh, gone back to the view that I'm used to. Um, and I could drill down and I bet that I would see something uh, identical or very similar at the very least to what I'm used to. Yes, it does. Uh, it's still uh, trying to load code and load the view. And, but over here you can see that the sync button is now lit up. So I could sync again, but I'm not going to. I'm going to pause again. Okay, I'm taking you through this so that it alleviates stress whenever you go to download it and you're busy and you're like, what is going on? This is taking forever. So I would say, you know, be working on something else, dinner, lunch, you know, talking to friends, doing other homework assignments while you're updating your Android Studios. 
If you haven't already, maybe I'm already late on this, but hopefully get it out before um, the next class anyway. Um, so when, I, when the view comes up, it's, uh, it's in design view, and if I want to see the code, I can come up here, and this will be in the walkthrough as well. Now, right here where I said there would be a new line of code in Koala, that's the only thing that I've noticed that changes on this page. It's giving an ID to this uh, particular layout. It says that um, this is going to be layout for main. So if I go to the main activity, you can see that there is a significant amount that is different. Um, I don't believe that I'd seen that before. I don't believe I'd seen that before. Um, and this is new. And all of this is new. Okay, now off screen or yesterday, I tried playing around with this new stuff and seeing if I put it back to the old stuff, does it work? And the answer was no, I don't think it did. Um, now, why would I say no, I don't think it did? Uh, if I run it, I think it, what was popping up was my screen from the last time that it did run. Um, and it was running pretty slow. So um, it needed enable edge to edge. It was absolutely necessary now in Koala. And, um, and this function right here is you know, brand new. And I can tell you basically what's going on with it. But the stuff that is not gray here, that's all of the old stuff, which we'll cover in class what, what all that stuff is talking about. So. Um, this function, just briefly going to cover, it's just giving you a, uh, a listener, and um, a listener meaning that we're looking out for whenever we made changes on the view when it's running, right? You, you're, you see your phone, right? You see your phone, right? There you go. And we got a view, right? And you're, you're punching stuff. You know, the listener is able to if it's set up right, to react to you entering data or moving your finger around, stuff like that. So um, this is basically uh, new code that they're saying is now necessary uh, to basically develop for modern phones. You know, if I go back to my um, old giraffe, it, you know, it, it's still going to be able to give me code that's going to work for the phones that I had in that emulator, which were quite old. It now looks like the, the phones that are shipping with the emulator are more updated. So it feels like uh, we've had a major development in Android Studios that is far more modernized. And so this function is for our modern components, uh, for listening for our view, okay? For basically getting information with you interacting with your view. All right, um, I think I'm gonna cut this video here. I just wanted to make sure this run, oh, yeah, let's actually make sure it runs, which I'll probably pause, but um, let's run this guy. And um, I'll, I may talk for a little bit, but if it's going long, uh, I'll pause it so that you don't have to waste your time on dead space. But a um, couple things I'm checking for here. Um, do I need to change my SDK? I haven't brought up my Gradle. I did that last time, but look, my compile and my target SDK are both set to 34 this time. They were set to 33 last time, and I, I think 33. Um, it might have been 32, but I think it was 33 and 33, and I had to change the compile to a 34. Uh, so I believe that this is no longer something we're going to have to change, which is nice. That's going to happen you know, three or four times. We're going to have to remember that whenever we start a project. Um, so the other thing is, is this thing actually going to run? So I, I can wait. And this pop up, this it should pop up, but we'll see. I'm going to pause. I'll pick it up here. Um, this is something I'll be working on off camera to make things faster. Took almost two minutes to sync. Way too long for a class. Uh, it's taken even longer for the phone to start popping up, but it looks like it's getting close to actually running. There we go. That looks like it's going to run. Uh, and then what I'm expecting is just one more hello world. And there, I got it. OK, so it did run. And again, these first two videos were just to try and alleviate some of the stress that you might have trying to get this software installed and getting it to actually do stuff, OK? So <clears throat> next video, we're going to take a brief tour of Android Studio. See you in there.